When a narcissist takes your honour, your life will shatters and dies in misery. When you hear from people who have been hurt mentally by a narcissist, it can help you figure out how to deal with your own situation. This kind of abuse could hurt your chances of finding love and happiness. People's behaviour can change for many different reasons, and the highs and lows of their emotions show how their behaviour has changed. But people can change their behaviour just like they can change anything else in their lives. The most visible and bad effect of psychological stress is changes in behaviour. In this video, I talk about some signs that someone is being abused by a narcissist. Depression and worry are number one. Do you know someone who always seems upset and worried? Have you spent a lot of time making sure they're okay? It's possible that a narcissist is hurting the person's mind. Being the target of constant criticism can wear someone down, and this kind of abuse takes longer to heal than a physical hurt. Abuse of the mind leaves deep, long-lasting wounds. Verbal abuse can be mild, but still very hurtful. It happens most often when the abuser is someone the victim sees often or can't avoid. If you expect to be mistreated in the future, you can't be happy and positive. In fact, it can make you feel so hopeless and powerless that suicide might look like a good option. If this happens, you need to go to the doctor. 2. Problems with obedience Compliance means doing only what is truly necessary to do what other people want or expect. Obedience is a way of thinking in which you always choose to do what you're told, even if it goes against your values or principles. When you compromise, you agree to do something you would rather not do. People who have been mentally abused usually become very stubborn to keep from getting hurt again. They may also put a lot of weight on their interactions with the abuser and slash or other people. Number three, having a lot of doubts about yourself and not being able to trust your own reasoning. Those who have been victims of mental abuse can speak to how bad it can be for a person's sense of self-worth. Because of this, the person may feel ashamed and helpless. People who have been through pain may not talk about it because they are afraid of being laughed at or left out. Unfortunately, victims often look weak and hopeless, even when they try hard to look otherwise. As a form of psychological warfare, abusers often tell their victims of what they think are their flaws. Hearing hurtful words all the time can do a lot of damage to a person's mind and make it harder for them to trust themselves. Number four, they can't control how they feel and act because they are mentally unstable. The brain is the control center of the body. It takes in information and decides what to do with it. Abuse of the mind can make it harder for a person to control their own thoughts and feelings, which can lead to mental instability and acting on impulse. Without the right rules, these actions can have bad results and lead to mistakes that people will later regret. Irrationality, which is the tendency to act or respond without a good reason. Psychopaths can make people lose their ability to reason, which can lead to extreme emotional reactions like hysteria or oversensitivity. These people could be taught wrong or harmful ideas and treated as disposable. Because of this, people may think and act in ways that don't make sense. It's normal to feel scared when you've been wrongly accused or judged. Number six, sadness and gloom. Do you know someone who always has a bad mood and only seems concerned with staying alive? Maybe they are so worried about themselves and the world that they are about to give up. People who have been mentally abused may lose faith in themselves and their ability to deal with problems in the future. Pessimism, or the idea that bad things will happen, can become a person's goal and change how they see the past, the present and the future. Mental abuse can make a person feel defeated and depressed, which makes it hard to think that they deserve to be happy. Because of this, individuals may take extra steps to keep themselves safe. Number seven, 
not getting anything done. People who have been mentally abused may lose interest in things they used to enjoy and may not make much progress, even if they have all the tools they need. Because of what they've been through with narcissists, they may feel lost and negative and expect the worst. This negative view of life can make it hard to achieve anything worthwhile, especially if the person thinks their efforts don't matter. Number 8. Loss of safety and responsibility. In psychology, being careless means not caring about your own safety or the safety of others. When victims of mental abuse are put under a lot of stress, they may make hasty choices. This can lead to a dangerous cycle of codependence with their abuser. Abusers often create stressful situations that can make it hard for people to make decisions. Taking issues into one's own hands can make things worse, which is a catch-22. Due to the emotional and mental pain they have been through, victims may become careless or unable to make good choices. Number 9. Resentment. When mean people say or think bad things about someone, it can be upsetting. People who have been abused may feel angry at their attacker because of the bad things they have done or seen them do. When victims think about what happened to them, they may feel angry and want to get back at the person who hurt them. They may want to get even, get revenge, or explain what happened to them. This can be especially true of narcissistic attackers who may seem caring. Some people who have been abused may feel like they need to bring their attacker to their knees and take away their power. But victims may also unknowingly take out their anger on other people because they don't want to talk to the narcissist, who they know won't change. Number 10. Not at peace. People who are victims of narcissistic mental abuse often act in strange ways that are hard to understand. They might act right because they are afraid of the narcissist, which can make them tense and restless. For example, they might have trouble staying seated or find it hard to stay focused on chores for long periods of time. These actions could be caused by worry or stress over something that isn't really a threat. People with anxiety may find it helpful to bite their nails, tap their feet, or tap their fingers on a desk. If you or someone you know has been abused mentally by a narcissist, it's important to know that most people change the way they act because of it. Making changes to how someone acts can help them get better. But if you want great results, it's best to talk to a professional. If this video helped you, please like it and sign up for more. I think you should check out my other videos on how to deal with narcissists.